So last night I watched um, a movie that my mother had had um, asked if I had watched. Like we have a lot of conversations, and this is one she brings up a lot. So um, I saw that it was streaming, so I watched it. Uh, finally, it was called Semi Tough, and it was directed by Michael Ritchie, who I believe also directed um, The Bad News Bears and something else I've seen. Um, uh, we did Fletch, but I haven't seen Fletch. Um, oh, Smile. Yeah, Smile's a good movie. So, okay. I really hated this movie. I hated it from the first ten minutes. Uh, it was just, like, for anybody who says that the world we live in today is too PC, they should just go and watch the first ten minutes of this movie and then decide if they'd rather live in that Time and if so, they can just go back there because the, it's not. It was not good. It was it was a really poor reflection of the seventies and how insensitive um, people were at that time, and not in a good, not in a terrible way. In a way that just um, just made me angry, and it made me. Um, really put me off from the movie and um there's just there's no reason to use a lot of the words that were used in that movie um some in a joking way some in not a joking way um because they're they're derogative terms for people to make certain people who are different than the quote unquote status quo uh to feel bad and and that's bullshit you should we shouldn't go around using terms that make other people feel bad if we can avoid it. It's not nearly as amped on me. Not nearly as creative as uh, we could be. So um, that really put me off at the beginning. Um, the satire of it on the um, you know the seventies self help seventies self self help crazes was great and it was on point. Um, and the cast had really good chemistry, you know, Burt Lancaster, not Burt Lancaster, <laughs> if only, uh, Burt Reynolds, Chris Christopherson, and Jill Clayburgh, and I love, like, I love Burt Lancaster, he plays Charlie in All Dogs Go to Heaven, which is, like, the greatest movie if you haven't seen All Dogs Go to Heaven, I don't know what's wrong with you, um, and Chris Christopherson's very charming, and he was very popular in the 70s and 80s, and I totally see why, because he was super, super charming, um, and he had that beard. And Jill Clayburg is just, like, I'm sorry, I'm having allergies. Jill Clayburg is just, like, the most phenomenal forgotten actress now. It's, like, people remember Diane Keaton because Manny Hall and well, she's still working. And Jill Clayburg was just on fire in the late 70s and then just sort of faded away, which is too bad because she's fucking great and you should watch um, An Unmarried Woman because she just gives a performance for the ages in that one. So they, they had good chemistry together, but, you know, I read one review from when the film first came out that basically said the satire was on point, but the rest of the movie was terrible, and that's sort of how I felt, like it was just not a good movie. Um, an interesting idea, but not a good movie. And it was really sexist, and, like, throughout, like, there's just several moments where women are assertive and then the men have to put them back down in their place because this was the 70s and women were really, feminism was really coming into its own and men felt emasculated and they, and this movie, those parts were not satire or if they were satire, they were done really, really poorly. So they didn't come across as satire. They just came across as emasculated men having to put women back in their place. Um, there was also a scene where one of the other football players, um, Brian Dennehy actually, holds a woman over a building, like by her foot, and just holds her when she's screaming and screaming and screaming, and Burt Reynolds comes up to the top of the building and tries to talk him, or maybe it's Chris Christopherson, I can't remember, one of them goes up there to talk to him and try to get him to put the woman down, but he doesn't really talk about the woman, nobody talks to the woman, the woman is just like an object that's screaming and being held by her foot and nobody cares if she's upset nobody gives a shit they just want to you know mostly they're trying to get him to pull her back in so he doesn't get in trouble and I was like are you 
fucking kidding me? And again, if that was supposed to be satire, it was not done sharp enough. It just came across as misogynistic as all get up. And it was horrible. And then they just, oh, it was for laughs. And I'm like, no, that is not funny. In what world is that funny? Was that, was that what was funny in the 70s? Because then, fuck the 70s. That was horrible. And it was awful. And there was no, it didn't move the story forward at all. It didn't really create a world. It didn't do anything but make me feel really uncomfortable and angry. So there's that. Um, it's also depressing to see a movie this um, just out of touch and, and misogynistic starring someone like Jill Clayburgh who did An Unmarried Woman, which is like one of the most forward-thinking films. Like, we'll watch that movie and you'll just fall in love with Jill Clayburgh. Um, and, you know, you had just had Chris Christopherson was just in... Uh, Alice doesn't live here anymore, which is another great feminist film, and you've got Annie Hall, and a lot of Woody Allen's like, late 70s movies for women are just insane. They're so good, like Interiors, um, the Cassavetes, Jenna Rowland's movies, like, you had a lot of great options, the Goodbye Girl, like Neil Simon's stuff with, um, what's her name? Oh, she's so good also. Oh my god, look this up. Oh, yeah. Oh, I almost right remembered it. Ooh. Oh, yeah, Marsha Mason. Marsha Mason. So good. And it's just like, so then we get this? And Jill Clayburgh, like, gave a great performance because she's a great actress. But that role was just terrible. And the film just made me really, really angry. Really angry. And I just can't recommend it. Like, don't watch this movie. Just stay away from it. Um, read the synopsis on Wikipedia if you need to know what happens in that movie. And watch other movies with those stars. Because as great as a chemistry the three of them have, it's just so not worth it to get to see this piece of crap. It's just not worth it. Um, yeah. So watch... It's the last day of September. Watch something else. And then tomorrow, start with a horror movie day. <laughs> Yay! <laughs>